Hello, hello, hello. Bear with me while I stream this on to different pages now. When I want to copy the URL, it does still doesn't want to copy the URL. Show URL. Copy URL. Keeps copying the page instead of the URL. Why does it do that? Why does it do that? What should I what should I call it when I put it out online? NSA Live? Okay. It's going out as NSA Live. There should be a video there. It doesn't even put in the video. Still testing. Yeah, it says URL and then doesn't give me an exact URL, it just gives me a page. Wow. Okay, that's something I'm just going to have to deal with at a later date. That's the way it goes. Um, the idea is to fade in, to focus, to get things done. It's G from Native Speakers Academy. Native Speakers Academy is a small private language school based in Central Slovakia. Basically, we do two things. We teach the English language and we focus on life coaching. So, the reason for these live online sessions are that I would like to, if possible, take questions live from people who are interested in any elements of language, specifically the English language, although it could be etymology or something else, or anybody who has got any questions about their life and their life choices and perhaps would like me to give them a little bit of guidance within what it is that they are doing. So, as a little bit of background information, I have put this information out on various different Facebook forums in the hope that I will be able to help teachers and students. Um, we will see. We will see how it works out. We will see how it works out. So, um, I think it's a good time to test things at the beginning of summer and over summer, as long as my computer doesn't overheat like it did twice yesterday. Anyway, it's a good time to test things. It's a good time to see what people are interested in. It's a good time to see what people need. I think the people are starting to hit the refresh button in their life anyway, especially if they're teachers or students. Students want to go abroad. They're looking for work. They're looking for an opportunity to spend time on things that they want to do rather than work on their uh, courses and uh, maybe uh, a bit of personal development, maybe helping their families, maybe helping their friends. Teachers finally enjoy a little bit of time off outside of the educational environment. Maybe more time for themselves, maybe more time for their family, maybe more time for their hobbies and interests. Maybe they'll get that book written. Maybe they'll get those flowers planted in the garden. Maybe they'll get the grass cut. Maybe they'll be able to read the pile of books that are sitting on their shelf. So all of these things are are kind of key, really. So 
the idea is to do live on air online sessions and I'm running this through Facebook because everybody's on Facebook and everybody can see what's going on and I want it to be as transparent as possible. The idea is maybe to do a little bit of a session each day and one of the questions that I have is do you do the same time each day or do you just do it wherever, whenever, whatever? Uh, same time each day gives you regularity, the wherever, whenever, whatever gives you an element of surprise. So uh, each life needs a little bit of both. Each life needs a little bit of regularity. Things need to be organized, but you also need that spontaneity as well at the same time. The two things really balance each other out. So the idea is that people can write in live time. They can write questions in live time on Facebook that I will try to answer. They can send questions to me in advance. They can email them to me. I think I should probably put the email address somewhere there, but you can reach my, uh, you can find my email um, on the webpage or you can leave a comment on the Native Speakers Academy Facebook page and then you get to see uh, what other people are writing as well. And so begins a conversation about education and everything connected with that. Now, I've seen a lot of people are doing the live seminars online, which is a really nice way to bring people together and to support educational needs. Um, I like that, although it's slightly irregular. Now, the irregularity means that uh, you get a chance to prepare and focus on something, um, but very often there's, there's not a follow-up on those ideas. You want accountability within your work. You want steps to lead to other steps. You don't want something just to start and finish and you to think, okay, well, that was good. Um, you want uh, real nutrition in your diet, not just a quick fix. Not that a quick fix is a bad thing, of course. Everyone is different. So, as I said, the idea of going on air is trying to pick up questions from people who are basically interested in languages or the life coaching elements. Now, if you followed the link online, um, it will hopefully take you to the video. It might also take you to um, the Native Speakers Academy homepage where you can see the video. Um, I try to copy and paste the URL, but every time I copy the URL, it gives me the web page instead because computers are computers. They are not people. So that's why artificial intelligence is an oxymoron. You're going to get not much intelligence from uh, from a computer. You're just going to get processes. That's why we can't do away with teachers completely, but that's why teachers should use technology to help themselves take a step forward. If you're still using a phone which is five or ten years old, oh my god, you need to upgrade because the future is already here. So you have to keep your technology up to date. Definitely. So let's see if I can pick up some st statistics about what is happening online here. And okay. We've got, according to this, seven viewers online. So there's seven people watching this, but they're not interacting. So the first stage is to get people interested in watching. The next stage is to get people interested in interacting. Um, or maybe that's one of the problems with doing things live is that people are not ready. They're not prepared. But situational opportunism, the opportunity exists. And when the opportunity exists, you need to take advantage of it. Uh, so as I said, the idea is that people will use this opportunity to, to write 
questions and I guess you could put a question you could put a question on an old on an old video that could be picked up and answered or uh, you could uh, you, you could ask in real time nothing wrong with putting a question on the net and picking up an answer for it later on so statistics saying that now we've dropped from seven viewers to five viewers because obviously if people are not interested there maybe want to watch sport or um, uh, they want to see something more exciting or they want to pick up some information about their friends or they're interested in the the brexit political vote which happened yesterday um which is um what was the word that i that i heard uh an advisory vote the brexit is an advisory vote what that means is the parliament don't have to follow the will of the people if the people actually vote to leave the european union can you leave the european union what does that really mean um i'm not even sure that anyone knows it's become so complex that no one fully understand what's fully understands what's going on except the bureaucrats in Europe who know they're going to lose their jobs if things continue the same way um, is that a good thing or a bad thing if you're an average person and you're sick of paying for people you don't know to do things that you don't know about it's probably good to step back from that situation um, if you are running a business which is funded through European Union subsidies or grants or help, then obviously you want to go where the money is. So it's it's a money question, really. Um, that's that's kind of my opinion on uh, on the Brexit vote. I'm not voting because. I really don't think it makes a difference, but I'm not against voting. So, um, yeah, voting on a small scale is kind of useful. You know, you want to decide with your friends where you want to go for a meal, or you know, which part of the countryside to visit. If you're if you're going somewhere, or which film to watch. You know, take a, take a poll and 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 do that amongst your friends. But uh, otherwise, don't really worry about that. Just uh, just let it. Just, just, just go with the flow in that sense. So, I want to leave you with, um, as nobody's writing any questions online, maybe I should start by uh, by asking if there are any questions online, because I haven't done this before. So, any questions? That would be like, why are you using this platform? Why are you not using Google Hangouts or Skype or some other form of live streaming? Well, I've covered that before. I'm not going to repeat myself. Uh, my friends know how I feel about these different these, these different forums. So the next the next stage in the development of this project project is the questions. How do I get the questions from the people that I need to answer? And I've noticed also that the videos pick up views within an hour of, of live time, within an hour of going online. So it might be the fact that I'll go online, I'll answer questions from the previous session and take questions that I can, I, I, I can think about a little bit and answer them in the future sessions. Um, a little bit more about the school. The school has 90 minute sessions because you can't do anything in less than 90 minutes, uh, in my opinion. And during the 90 minute sessions, we either work specifically with vocabulary and grammar skills, uh, the, the internal knowledge of language, and then we work on our presentation skills. How do we use the language in the real world? Which uh, language is practical. A lot of a lot of courses don't cover a l really key areas of language, like the language of suggestions. How do you suggest things to people in a nice, polite way? Uh, the language of questions when you need information. How do you ask 
questions in the most polite and indirect manner. So we mix the the internal language skills with the external with the external world, so that uh, we've got this balance of life coaching to take people to to the next level in their living. And this also runs through people's jobs, people's businesses, and people's personal lives as well. You cannot separate these things. Everything is connected to everything else. As Leonardo da Vinci said, everything is connected to everything else. So you can't separate who you are from what you do. You can't, in the basic sense. Now, I know that there are motivational speakers like Les Brown who promote the principle that you have to separate who you are from what you do in order to understand yourself. So there is a principle there. But you are in everything that you do. And as came out of a couple of coaching sessions this week, you can't escape you. You take your problems with you wherever you go. If you've got a problem here and you go somewhere else, you will have the same problem there because you carry you with you wherever you go. So, so still no questions. I want to leave you with something productive today. And today's productive information will be how can you take steps to to move things forward in your life in the right direction simple little steps simple little things you can do every day to help yourself with your organization and so i'm going to go give you a few little tips um all motivational speakers say pen and paper pen and paper pen and paper if you've got a pen and paper uh you write down these things or you know type it into your computer or make a mental note or come back to the video at a later date and you'll be able to uh, re review these ideas they're all good ideas they're all tried they're all tested um, which is good for you so step one when you when you're planning and organizing your life think about having a a clean and clear space one of the things that i do in the school is that i want all the students who arrive at the school to to feel like the school exists just for them so i want it to be clean and tidy and organized when when, when people arrive and this extends to your home environment as as well you need it to be clean and tidy and organized look at the uh, feng shui uh, psychology philosophy look at the uh, japanese principles of tidiness and organization in the environment all these things um, are, are are very important. Just checking my time, clocking in at around 18, 19 minutes. Okay. It's interesting how I always try to reduce things to 10 minutes, but it just never happens. Um, it would have happened about 10 years ago, but for some reason, as you grow older and get more experience, you kind of have more to say about things. Um, so make the space that you're working in nice, create a kind of ambience, oh, put on some music if you have to light some candles. Hey, I, um, I even put a little incense burner here on my desk and I'm burning a little bit of lavender to, uh, to, to stimulate my senses, to keep the brain working. So, um, don't be, don't be afraid to try new things. The second thing I want you to think about with the, the, the space that you're in a, and, and the way that you're working is that you need to re relax a little bit. So uh, get yourself a drink, get yourself some water, hydrate the body. Very important, especially in summer. It's about 30 to 35 degrees outside right now, which means that the cars are melting into the pavements. But... Um, uh, yeah, I got, I got a couple of fans on in the office, trying to circulate the air around. Uh, um, I took off my shirt because it, it's just ridiculous if you're wearing a shirt and, it, and it's too hot. Um, I'm sorry, be practical. Practicality first, I think. Um, 
And if people respect you, they'll respect the fact that you're practical. Maybe you want to get yourself, get yourself some water, get yourself some juice. Uh, not any of the 100% the from concentrate juice, which is just sugar and water mixed together with a bunch of chemicals and aromas, which is not going to hydrate you at all. And definitely don't give that stuff to your kids. Please don't give that stuff to your kids. I, I, I almost get angry when I see parents giving their children juice drinks, which are not really juice. Because the parents are not really thinking. It's your kids, for God's sake. It's your kids. You know? It's, it's your future. Yeah. If you're not looking after your kids, you're screwing up your own future, really. Uh, have available a way to record your ideas. It's through your phone. Uh, most phones have cameras in them. Um pick up an application a lot of people use Evernote I don't like that because I'm old school I need a diary what I can write into um, I like that that visual element I don't like that the fixed the absolute fixed nature of, of the digital material for organization um, I, I guess I'm old school um, but I get, I get all the benefits and advantages of it I see it I might transition into that in the future but not really at the moment um, so you find find a way to record information uh, you can do it the old way pen paper pencil just just find a way to record uh, what you you like or what you think thinking about as you're going through things I surf a lot of the internet pages and um, I use YouTube a lot and I like I like the history button on YouTube. I can go back and see what I watched last week because you we forget a lot of what we do. You know, we, we forget about 80% of everything that we've done within 24 hours. You know, just think about a book you, re you read. You know, you, you might read 200 pages. How many pages can you remember? Can you remember every word on the page? No, it's not possible. So you've you got to give yourself a uh, memory hook techniques. And we'll talk about that in the future, in, in one of our future sessions. Uh, so I've given you some basic ideas to to keep yourself uh, to keep yourself motivated. Um, is that enough? Is that some, is that enough to think about? It's probably enough to think about because I don't expect anyone to give me any more time from their day because I think that asking someone for around twenty minutes is asking someone for a lot. Um, if you've got a question about language. Or a question about choice you have to make in your life write it down on Facebook forward it to me and I will I will deal with it live this is Native Speakers Academy live and on air we are a holistic language school based in central Slovakia we're interested in improving the opportunities that you will have in your life about opening the ports f for your future success. And I can see that it's been a long two weeks and I need to have a bit of a shave here and up here as well. There we go. If you've got any suggestions, topics you'd like me to cover, questions you'd like me to answer, something you like to talk through with me uh, perhaps we can set that up as well all the information about the services we offer the prices of courses everything is available on our web page we can meet face to face or we can meet through the technology of the internet we can meet through skype thank you very much for paying attention to this native speakers academy live on air session I will do a little review of this and if I think it was good then I'll continue and take the next step give me some feedback let me know what you think let me know what's missing what's here what's not here there's probably a lot of things that are not here um, I interested in anything you don't have to it doesn't have to be educational uh, talk about 
how to plan a good holiday. We can talk about parenting. We can talk about just anything that's going on around about in the world. Talk about politics if you really want. Um, wherever you are, have a wonderful day. And use every opportunity you have in this day to make this day as great as it can possibly be. Thanks again. Right, now, how do I surf through this technology to, uh, to escape? Do I do something like this? So that I slowly disappear. I think that might do it. Are you sure you want to end your life at you? Yes, yes, I'm pretty sure.